Hello friends, in this video I am going to share my end-to-end -end EU blue card visa processing experience from India. My processing happened in the second half of 2021 which is not too old and at the same time it is not the recent experience. But the processes are still same. Watch until end of this video. I hope you will get something useful from my experience. I would like to present it in a five step framework. This is the guideline German government is providing about EU blue card processing. In the first step, checking the requirements. There are two important things. First one is job contract. I have already made a video sharing my experience about finding a job in Germany. Second important factor is that education. We need to prove that our education is equivalent to Germany degree or comparable to that. For this, I used the website called Anabin. That's the official website where we can do the comparison. We need to show what is category of our university and our degree programs. In my case, my university had H plus rank and my degree program also had A5 graduation class which means it is equivalent to the master degree in Germany. I had taken printouts of these and while submitting my visa application I attached these. With these I marked the checks for the major expectations. There are also other documents that you need to submit but these two are the major things with which we can move. Before moving to the second step I want to share another parallel step or maybe sub step of first step that is document collection. I don't want you to do this as a second step because sometimes we discover that there are some documents or certificates that we need to procure which would take quite longer time. In such cases, if you are collecting your documents after you receive your job contract, you will lose lot of time. That's why what I was doing is even though I did not get the job at the moment, I took the blue card checklist because based on all my research, I was sure that I'm going to either get D visa or blue card visa in case if I'm finding a job in Germany. So I took the checklist and I tried to collect all the documents. For example, until this moment, I hadn't collected my marriage certificate from the government. I only had the church certificate, but for visa purposes, I really need to get the government certificate. So I applied for the marriage certificate while I was doing my interviews. I also know from past experience that I was in on-site for nearly one and a half years. If we need to bring dependents, we need to apostle our marriage certificate. So as soon as I got my marriage certificate, I did that part also. And one more important thing is that I have done my master's degree from distance education. I never collected my final degree certificate because in India, whichever the company I change, if I produce that I have done master's degree from distance education, it was never considered for a salary increment or the position what I was applying for. They always considered only my bachelor degree. So I never cared to apply for the degree certificate for MCA. But after reading a lot of articles and doing enough research about Germany visa related things, I understood that having a master degree, no matter whether it is distance education or direct education till Germany embassy is considering it as master degree only. After discovering this, I did not wait any time. I directly went and I applied for the degree certificate in my university. One more thing that turned out really positive or helpful for me is the passport related thing. For my daughter, I have not applied for a passport until then. So I applied for a new one. At the same time, I used this opportunity to add my spouse name in my passport and my name in my spouse's passport. How does this help me? Since we are applying to add the names of spouses in the passport, you are not going to get the same passport. You will get a new passport. It will be considered as a renewal. These new passports are 10 years of validity. For the next 10 years, I have no problem in renewing my passports in any other country outside India. While you are applying for the visa, you need to definitely have minimum 12 months of validity of your passport. But if you get it for 10 years, why not? It is still good, right? So these are some of the examples that I did in my case. It really helped me to speed up the visa process. Whenever I speak to some of our subscribers and they used to ask me how long it took for you to get your visa. I got it within five working days and many say that you are very lucky. It is very fast for you. Maybe I am lucky but at the same time I feel that I prepared all the documents correctly. There was no back and forth question and answer emails or communications. This way I saved a lot of time. This is what Dhoni says most of the times 
and I am a huge follower of him. He says that worry about your controllables. These are the things that we can control from our side. You just go through this checklist and if you find something is not there, don't wait until you get a job. Start applying for it right away. Start collecting all the required documents. It's better be prepared rather than to regret about some delays. Second step, booking appointment at VFS. The time when I was applying for jobs and processing visa, it was the time when COVID second wave was slowly going out of our lives and German embassies were just reopening the operations and they were starting to approve the visas. There were a lot of applications pending and I was not getting any appointment at all. I came to know that every day at around 3 a.m. in the morning, the system gets refreshed and new appointments or available. Every day I used to wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning and I used to try to book appointments. I think for nearly two and a half weeks I tried this. On the third week I was able to get one appointment but I had two and a half months waiting time for that. This is when I was still waiting for my job contract. In that two and a half months gap to get the job contract and other related documents it already took nearly one one and a half month. Before my appointment date I got all the documents ready and I waited for few weeks but the good thing is that I applied for all three of us for me blue card visa and for my wife and daughter I applied for family reunion visa took appointments for all three of us together third step applying for the visa on the appointment date I traveled to Chennai VFS office along with my family we had the visa application and all other required documents with us and at the VFS office while submitting the application you have two options you can go and submit your application in the counter or you can book for a VIP launch kind of service which is for a fee since at that time my daughter was very small and we were also in the corona fears at that time we took that uh, service we were asked to sit in a separate waiting room. There was a visa consultant who came to us. She helped to arrange all our documents, explained about SMS alert related stuff. Actually, I was over prepared. I had a lot of documents and some of the documents were not required. For example, mark sheets. I prepared all the semester mark sheets also, but it was not required. Only the degree certificates were enough. These are the things that consultants were telling us. In case if you go to the normal counter also, that was also pretty fast and they were treating everywhere nicely. There was no issue with that. But only thing is that since we had a kid, we thought it's better to stay separately and pay for that. We submitted our application and required documents in the VFS office on a Friday and they said in next one working day, they will send it to the German embassy. That's also a few kilometers away from the VFS office, at least in Chennai. Step four, visa issue. The applications were sent to the German embassy on the Monday itself, the immediate next Monday. And within two days or so, our application was accepted and it was sent from Chennai to my native. By Friday or so, we already got our passports with the temporary visa pasted on it. So it was overall like one week, I would say five working days, five to six working days. So that's how we got our temporary visa. Step five on the last step, applying for the blue card residence permit in Germany. We traveled immediately after two weeks or so. I had already booked the hotel, which can be also used for city registration while booking a temporary accommodation you also need to check all these things maybe i will make a separate video about it but after coming here we did all the initial things and then i applied for the actual blue card residence permit in the auslander behode that is the foreigners authorities here it is based on the city where you live if you are in a smaller place then the process is quite fast but in my case i stayed in a bigger city for me it took quite a lot of time like 2021 end of november we arrived in germany within two three weeks i prepared everything and i applied for the residence permit and we were given a temporary extension they gave us something called fiction certificate for one more year with that you can still continue in germany but to get actual plastic residence permit card you will get a biometric appointment where you go there provide your i color or thumb impression height weight and you will also need to pay for that i received my residence permit card and then my wife and daughter they also got their biometric appointment and uh, they got their uh, permit card as a whole it took nearly 13 months of time for all three of us to get our plastic cards fiction certificate is not an issue that also has equivalent rights as the plastic card but couple of things we experienced as a problem one is that 
we wanted to apply for the child support money that is called as Kindergeld in German. The finance ministry was not accepting our application only with the fix and certificate. So you need to have the plastic card to get that child support money. But after few months when this Ukraine war had started, Ausland Behode also removed some restrictions because there were so many refugees coming to Germany and there were so many applications, at least in my city. We were not able to process everything. So they have given an opportunity of extending that fix and certificate for two more years. In this case, finance ministry accepted that we will release the child support money only with the fix and certificate also. So for me, it was a problem. But for the people who came after me, it was not a problem at that moment. Second observation is like in the beginning, I wanted to set up the house. Of course, we may not have all the money to set up the house. I wanted to purchase a washing machine in EC installments like EMI in India. In the beginning, they were not accepting the fix and certificate. But after few months, even the shops started accepting the fiction certificate. In my case, both of these were problems, but in future, it was not the problem at all. Just for your knowledge, maybe. And this is how my end-to-end -end process happened. I hope you have got some idea from this, at least the overall process. In case if I missed it to explain something or if you have any other new questions, please feel free to write them in comments. I will try to answer them. And if you watch this video until here, I hope you have found it as useful one. Then please like this video and write your thoughts in comments also share it with your friends who are looking to find a job in germany or looking to process their visa for germany thank you for watching this video i will see you in my next video